Many Minnesotans enjoy fishing in our thousands of lakes and rivers throughout the state, especially this time of year. But a key part of our state's infrastructure to make sure that there's plenty of walleye and musky to go around needs some big upgrades. Caroline Cummings reports. Inside this building in Waterville, thousands of fish swimming here will one day be ready for a hook in line statewide. I don't know if everybody connects, you know, the stocking with the fact that that's the only reason they're on that lake fishing, which is the case in some places. It's a fish hatchery where tens of thousands of fish are raised every year and then are stocked in Minnesota rivers and lakes, a way to enhance fishing opportunities that contribute $4.2 billion to the state economy. Southern Minnesota, more, more than anywhere else in the state really, the hatchery is really critical to be able to provide fisheries um, for recreational use by our anglers. But the whole system here is stuck in another century. Much of the infrastructure is original, built in the 1950s. Here's our filtration system. Everything is manually operated. No technology to control the water temperature, no filtration, raising concern about invasive species. The Minnesota legislature earmarked $35 million for fishing improvement across the state, but in a bonding bill, this Waterville fish hatchery got an additional 20 million for a renovation. Craig Supier, supervisor of the Waterville Area Fisheries with the Department of Natural Resources says that can't come fast enough. Further delays could endanger the operation. Without an investment in this facility, we could have um, some type of drastic outcomes where we all of a sudden aren't able to raise fish. Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. The funding for fish hatcheries is just a slice of a package designed to improve campsites and make parks and trails accessible to people with disabilities.